What's going on guys, it's your boy GS bringing you guys another online ranked match and today we are bringing you guys some New York Giants gameplay going up against the Philadelphia Eagles and I'm almost done with the Jacksonville Jaguars scheme games, I have two games left, the Chargers versus the 49ers and the uh, Cowboys versus the Giants. Somebody left in the comment section um, while you guys were choosing which team you guys want to see next. Somebody was like, I bet you the Chargers are going to be the last game. And it just might be. That was one of the first games of me actually using the scheme. I think it was like my fifth or sixth game using the scheme. So I still didn't have it down packed then, but uh, it still turned out to be a pretty decent game. And uh, yeah, so after those two games, I'm going to show you guys what I was able to do with the Oakland playbook. And then uh, I'm not even, it's just real simple. It's, it's real cheesy. Uh, you know, I didn't want to play that way because that was the only thing I could find how to move the ball at that playbook. I really did not like that playbook. They only had uh, two good plays that I really liked, two plays that I could count on outside of that. It was really tough to move the ball outside of, you know, streets from the single back ace. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to go towards the Panthers playbook or the 49ers or maybe the Broncos. I'm not sure which playbook I'm going to go ahead and use next. Um, I'm just going to search through and find a playbook that I like that has, you know, um, decent attack from one formation. All of my schemes are always going to be from one formation. You know, that way, that way your opponent never knows what you're going to deliver. You know, they don't know if you're going to run, pass, play action. They don't know what's going to come on. So, you know, I, I got to make sure I find multiple plays that I like out of one formation. And somebody suggested the Broncos playbook that they have really, really good um, playbook. I think from like the iPro form or, or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and check that out. But um, as you see, we're down 7-0. He scored off of one play, play action, pass, touchdown. So there's nothing more frustrating than giving up a touchdown and just one home run play like that because that just means that, you know, I didn't get to see his offense whatsoever. So next time he gets the ball, I don't even know what the game plan for. I don't even know what to try and set up. So, you know, that's, you know, really difficult. Try to go for the ghost streak on third down. He drops the ball. So we're forced to kick a field goal on fourth down. You know, that's how your boy GS is rolling this year. Fourth down swag. We're punting. We're kicking field goals. You know, we're playing, you know, the right way this year. And surprisingly, my record is really, really, really good doing that. I can say, um, you know, I'm winning uh, about 70% of my games playing um, this way this year. And could it be more, you know, going for it on fourth down? Like that? Yeah, you know, it could be more. By the way, no soup for you. He ends up throwing an interception right there. Uh, it could be more. You know, playing, um, you know, going for it on fourth downs and things like that. But, you know, I was real, real bad last year in Madden 12. Like, my play style was really cheesy. Number of face throws and out slants. And I got a lot of heat for it. So, I decided to change my game plan for, for you guys. You know, I was like, you know, let me, let me play, you know, um, as sim as possible. You know, and I know I do a lot of the same plays. But um, when I say I'm playing sims, I'm just not sending any, you know, crazy cheesy blitzes. And I'm also going to, you know, use that fourth down swag. I'm a punt. I'm going to kick field goals if I'm held to on fourth down. So that's what I mean by, um, you know, playing sim. And uh, I got a really good record this year. On both accounts, on Xbox, I was doing really good too. So um, within the three accounts, I'm definitely um, having a really, really good record this year. It's all about just making sure I don't get to them fourth down situation. You know, finding plays that work finding plays that I can switch up and, you know, being able to move the ball continuously without being stalled. So um, that's the key to, you know, not being able to punt or kick field goals on fourth down. That's why I've been winning a lot of my games, finding, you know, these plays that really work and are tough to stop. So that's why I got to find myself another scheme. The Oakland playbook, I really, I, I think I was like seven and two with it so far. So, um, yeah, I didn't even play 10 games with it. I, I've given up on it. I, I really don't like that playbook at all. There's nothing there for me. Um, back to the gameplay, you know, you see we're up 10 to 7, and, um, you know, there's a lot of things to worry about as he gets the first down right here on fourth down. The Eagles got a lot of things to worry about, man, a lot of speed, so much speed that, you know, I, I've gotten beaten off of streaks so many times, you know, by the Eagles, so that's the main thing I'm worried about, you know, just watch out for them streaks, watch out by getting, you know, beat deep. I don't want any huge home run plays, you know, because I've gotten beaten way too many times, you know, by the Eagles receiver just completely outrunning you know, my defenders. So I'm trying to, you know, keep that in mind, trying to play a lot of, you know, two man under his zones and make sure I'm not controlling the safety and getting beat deep. Right here, Michael Vick is just wiggling, wiggling, wiggling inside the pocket, ends up throwing it off his back foot out of bounds to avoid the sack. So third and long right here, right here is a pretty crucial down. And, um, you know, Michael Vick is looking at the pocket. He goes and don't test the user. He's so dis. 
disrespectful. Somebody, please send this man a link to my channel. Do not throw the ball my way. Right there, we end up catching a beautiful interception. And not only do we catch the ball, we end up turning it into a pick six. So we end up scoring defensively. And that right there gives us a nice breather. You know, nice breathing room. So we got a two possession lead. So now, no matter what he does on offense, we will regain the ball back with the lead. So that right there is crucial. And, you know, my success to winning, you know, trying to capitalize off his mistakes and being able to hope that he continues being nervous or, you know, making bad decisions. So uh, right here, third and long, he ends up going for a nice out route over there towards the left, gets into a decent fourth down. Right there, we should have had the interception, but we end up batting it down. That's See, that man needs some fourth down swag because he didn't get it. Look how close we are to the end zone. And, you know, it's really, really easy for us to score being this close. Even if we don't score a touchdown, we should at least be able to get a field goal. And if he punted the ball, that probably could have been avoided, you know. So, um... We're in the red zone, so uh, scoring in the red zone really isn't too easy. You know, it's tough with a lot of, you know, uh, not much space to move around. But as you saw, we score off the counter play right there. So it's 24 to 7 with less than a minute left. So he definitely has enough time with two timeouts to try and make something happen. But he has to, you know, score uh, pretty much off a couple big plays, you know. So my job here is to limit that and try not to give up anything deep. And right there, he had him. He had a step above us on the streak, but he ends up just overthrowing him just by a tad. So uh, right here. He hits us with the play action He's looking He goes over towards the right And he has somebody But we end up just Undercutting that For the interception We end up turning that in Because I don't think The computer would have been Able to do that So we end up getting The interception So um, right now Unless we do something crazy We should go into halftime Up 24 to 7 So that right there Is a really 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 good lead And all we need is I think uh, you know one more stop and a score to put this game away at that point so you know my game plan going into the second half is going to be you know try and get another stop somewhere somehow and you know put up another score and that right there should hopefully you know put the game away if I'm up 31 to 7 but uh, right now we're in almost scoring range right here for a field goal uh, right here we're looking we're inside the pocket we hit him with the go streak and Nick's and Nixon is wide, and we end up scoring another touchdown. So um, now we're up 31 to 7 right before halftime. So we're able to capitalize off his mistakes. You know, throwing them interceptions definitely hurt him. You know, we were able to move the ball and get ourselves another touchdown just before halftime. So right here, we pretty much know a streak is coming, so we bet that down. So to begin the second half, of course, he's going to come on an onside kick out of panic. That ball is, I mean, that man needs the ball back, you know, but fortunately, we end up recovering the ball. So I feel like another score here game is, you know, definitely, definitely. I feel like it's over already, but, you know, one more score. That right there puts the boot on the throat. That lets him know that this game is over, son. Send that concede and go ahead and play somebody else. You were mismatched against me. So right here, we're standing in the pocket with Eli Manning. We're looking and we end up taking off. We don't find nobody. And as, as you see, I didn't make any mistakes this game so far. And right there, we got a streak wide open. He ended up tippy-toeing into the end zone. And that's how majority of my games are win. All of my games, actually. You know, staying consistent on offense, putting up points, and capitalizing off your mistakes if you are able to make any. So we end up winning. And we get a whopping 12 points for that. So he definitely was um, above my skill level or very close at that point. So that's the end of that game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. And we are going to jump into another online ranked match. In this game, we're going to go ahead and give you guys some Green Bay Packers gameplay. And we're going up against, dum dum dum, surprise, surprise, the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the Green Bay Packers are a really 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 dominant team and you know so are the 49ers so it definitely should make to be an interesting matchup you know both teams are dominant both teams are really 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 good on both sides of the ball so uh you know you got two juggernauts going at it you know two heavyweights going at it so hopefully uh, we can do what we need to to go ahead and pull out this victory so to begin the game he has the ball first so you know always on defense as you guys already know if you guys play a lot of madden you know, you try to figure out what he likes to do on, on offense. You know, what does he like to do more of? How does he like to play? You know, what type of plays he likes to go to and what situations? 
and things like that. So he's coming on in a funky formation to begin the game. He ends up running the ball. Um, outside of that first down a couple plays ago, we're, we're pretty much putting a stop to it right here. We get him to a third down. But he's no huddling while doing this. So he doesn't give me any time to adjust. So he comes out in a five receiver set and he ends up hitting me for a nice pass over there towards the left. And again, he's doing this while no huddling. So I didn't have time to change my plays to adjust and all that. So now I know, okay, I need to expect no huddles and things like that. Third and long again, same situation. This time he goes deep over towards the middle, but no super you. We end up getting an interception. He's doing it, what, four people? We had four coverage over there. He ends up throwing it anyways, and we end up picking it off. So now is our opportunity to go ahead and try and put some points on the board. Ghost streak was open, but Aaron Rodgers missed it. So I figured, you know, let's go back to it. And ends up working this time to perfection. Look at the separation between Jennings and the cornerback. That ghost streak is absolutely deadly, man. It gets man-to-man. If you don't put that safety in a purple zone or you don't manually cover that, it's really, really, really tough to stop. So we end up scoring a touchdown. So we're up 7-0. And, you know, now we're going to see if he's that type of player who likes to abandon the run because he's down. You know, a lot of people do that when they lose in the mat. And, yep, exactly as I suspected. And he throws another interception in double coverage this time. You know, a lot of people like to do that. He started out, you know, running the ball. He didn't have much success with it. But um, he, it just looks like he's going to be that type of guy to just abandon, you know, the run. And he was only down 7-0. You know, he just pretty much gave away the run right there. We ended up scoring on the, sh- on the screenplay right here. So, around 14-0. So now it's time to let that Packers defense just run loose. You know, that defense is really, really, really good. And, you know, hopefully we can force some mistakes. Hopefully Clay Matthews could, um, you know, uh, create some pressure and be able to have Alex Smith, you know, backpedaling, throwing some rubber duckies towards us. So right here we got him to a second down, right? He's standing in the pocket. And again, I see he's just avoiding the run whatsoever. And we end up getting a sack right there. So he's on third and long for the third consecutive drive. We're holding third and long. He ends up throwing a user. He ends up throwing it to my users. We get another interception. Don't test the user, my man. That right there was a nice interception. Look at this bait. I'm running towards the right right. I'm chasing him down. I'm running. You're not going to throw him. Wait a minute. Look at the readjustment. It looks like somebody's open over here. So let me cut back. Let me run towards the left just in case you throw it. And we baited him. And we, oh, that's a beautiful bait right there. We done worm and hooked him. We done worm and hooked him right there. That right there was a beautiful adjustment. And we end up picking that off. And, and a lot of people are like, you know, leaving comments. GS, you know, your, user, your defense is horrible. <laughs> but your users are good. How do you improve your users if you guys would like a video on how to improve your users i can definitely help you out with that you know it's all about you know a mindset which i think i can break it down for you guys to make it easy enough to i think i have a formula on how to improve your users you know the only bad thing i'm at is leaving my zone when i when i know um you know i can't get beat deep that's usually how i get beat is with streaks if i leave my zone and i don't cover up top but for the most part i usually um come off with a couple of user user interceptions a game because i I pretty much have a formula on on how to um play the user you know who to look for um when to go to and things like that so if you guys would like a video on that go ahead leave in the comment section i I, i'm pretty sure i could help anybody improve their user skills in the game with um the mindset that i have i think i can break it down to you guys so you guys can understand um how to control your users if you guys like to play with the safety a lot of you guys like to play with the d linemen or linebackers um that really doesn't help at all with users so but if you guys like to control the safety and you guys think you guys can use a couple of tips on improving users go ahead and let me know i'll uh, do a tutorial on that for you guys so this game is 21-0 at this point and i'm feeling like you know this game is you know pretty much over um you know he's he's struggling to move the ball you know we're, we've had him on third and long on a couple occasions so um you know stopping him you know we are able to do but right now you know you see he's got a little pep in his step he's moving the ball a little bit you know just a little bit so he's standing in the pocket he goes over towards the end zone and we end up uh, not allowing him to score so third and ten right here again he's in the pocket and he ends up going over towards the middle we get another interception he's throwing the too many packers so again we go into the ghost streak and he's failing to adjust so i'm gonna continue doing it unless he makes his adjustments you know i'm not gonna go ahead and stop myself from a play that i know that's working so unless he makes his adjustments to stop it i'm gonna continue to look for it and so far i'm definitely having a lot of success using that play third and three right here we need us to continue to keep the drive going that's exactly what we do we find jerry michael finley right there over towards the right and we continue the drive and again we go back to the ghost streak but this time the cornerback ends up making a play on it so second and ten we're looking we go over towards the drag route on the right we end up hitting it 
And right here, we go to the counter. We bounce it outside with Sane, and we end up getting a touchdown. So we're up 28 to 10, and that's it. That man has had enough. He can't take it no more. Get him out of here. So we end up winning this game. As always, it's your boy GS delivering you guys uh, multiple online biblical gameplays. Uh, hit that like button if you guys were entertained. Save it to your favorites. If you guys really enjoyed it, we might want to watch it again. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. As always.